you doing? This is Charles Watt. I just wanted to show you a little something I came up with. Uh, I was looking at this post, but we were making a little self-watering um, containers for uh, little plants, little herbs and stuff like that, little flowers. And they were doing it out of a cut bottle top, turned upside down and placed in a, another part of the bottle or a cup or a glass with a string going down into a water reservoir to self-water. And uh, I didn't have any of those things, so I wanted to come up with a way to do it. And I figured I could use cans. Uh, so I take a can, this is going to be what I do the planting in. Uh, I got a hole in the bottom to run the wicking through. The wicking is going to be used, it's going to be this, uh, just a scrap of jean. You just got to make sure it's long enough to go down into the reservoir, up into bring up enough water up. Uh, it's really easy. Just got another for the bottom. This is going to hold it above the reservoir level and this is what it's all going to sit in. Now this is going to go down in there like that, so at this level I want to make sure I take my awl and punch a few holes like I did right here so when I water it it'll never go above that level and it won't saturate the bottom of my plants or my roots and stuff like that um, like I said it's very easy you just gotta run the wicking up through the bottom one leave enough so it's gonna always be in enough water up through into there with the string, you probably usually have to kind of tie some knots to make sure it's all going to stay, but that's going to be fine. Now, when you do cut your cans, this is a, like a 24 ounce uh, can, and these fit perfectly into it. You want to make sure you kind of take and kind of bend it over. Be very careful because you're dealing with sharp tin. Just go around and bend it all over on each one of the cut pieces. And then I take this here, just kind of crimp it, make sure it all stays down. You can even use that to, do, to bend it over. I've gotten pretty good at doing it so I don't slice up my fingers. This one actually has a hole on the bottom. It's from a different project, but um, once you got all that going on, you can fill your water in here. It'll only go up so far. I put a few extra holes in this so in case I got to lift it or put it down, it won't. Sh it's got enough air uh, coming out so it, the pressure will allow it to go down. And there you have a little self-watering. You can also use the top of the can. So like when I cut one of these cans for that reservoir piece, you can use the top because another one of these it can always just go through. You can actually cut this thing shorter if you need, if you want your top can to show a little bit more. If you got a pretty can that shows or you just like. Uh, that's kind of how it looks when it's ended. It only takes about 10-15 minutes for the water to start coming up through the wick. And if you see in this one here, which actually I used a 16 ounce can for the top so I could get more space, I have the dirt in it. And uh, I don't know if you can even tell, but I got a little marigold seed planted right there in the middle. So just with a couple cans, some old jean material, an all punch, uh, and a exacto knife that I cut the cans with and uh, one of these you can make yourself a little self-watering herb planter thank you very much